Hello. Today we're going to continue with Git and troubleshoot a particular issue I ran into just the other day when I tried to push a local copy out to my GitHub repository out on GitHub. And um, I got this message here. Very disconcerting. I hadn't used it for about eight days, and in the in between, I had um, put OpenDNS on my system, and uh, my first thought was is that perhaps OpenDNS had interrupted my ability uh, to push things out. Uh, OpenDNS is quite restrictive if you go the maximum uh, set of restrictions, and um, I had uh, removed many of them, but perhaps not all of them. So my first idea was is that really uh, OpenDNS was the problem, and I uninstalled it, but the con problem con persisted. So perhaps it, um, OpenDNS had left something on my computer that made it required to um, use SSH keys, which was my first thought. Um, however, a, a more easy solution um, reared its ugly head, ugly because it took me so long to figure this out, that all you have to do is write dot git here, and voila, you're in. So um, the first solution, and the easiest, is now to just append a dot git on it. However, I went through the very long and tedious um, troubleshooting uh, exam and decided that I needed to have a private key using SSH. So I went out to SS, um, GitHub and I looked at this uh, website for generating SSH keys and realized that this is mostly for Linux and it looked like kind of a headache to do. So I decided to download their application, GitHub for Windows. When I installed it, um, it actually created this GitHub uh, uh, SSH key here in the web page. And um, it also put uh, these two files on my local drive. And this is my GitHub SSH key. The GUI looks like this. Let me uh, get J developer here. It's a little bit hard to see because they don't have much of a um, border on it. But you can see that these are all my um, my uh, repositories out there. And if you right click, then you have some uh, some solutions here that or some options that you can do here. I'm going to clone the gateway application here. Um, and if we go out to um, my documents, GitHub, you'll see there's nothing there. Clone it. And you can see that Gateways app is starting to come through. And uh, we'll just close this and open the application that we just got. So it might still be opening. OK, there we go. It looks like it's here. Now on this GUI here, you just go to open this repo. And um, you can see that I've just <laughs> done some testing with the XXX there. If we go to JDeveloper and we, I think what I'm going to do is just look at this file here. So let's get rid of that. Save it. Now, when I did, did this yesterday, um, you can see now that I have the Git uh, repository here. And um, let's see, I have to commit it first. And it, it does update here. And um, I just want to, let's see, click on up here maybe. Versioning, push. 
Now you can see here that it's got the dot .git. Okay. And I put my login and password in, and it can go on up. And we're pushing it on up. Okay. And actually, yesterday when I tested this, this did not work. It um, never ceases to amaze me how inconsistent things can be. But uh, today it does seem to be working properly. And um, the other thing that I did yesterday was um, because this was working, and here, well, let, let's go out to this GUI and we'll, we'll do that. So if I put now XXX here, save, I can also go out to here. And you can see that the files that I've just made updates to are here. And if I put a summary in, I'm just going to put XXX, and then I commit to master. Now that's committing to my local box, OK? And you can see that I have unsynced commits here. Um, now I'm not sure if um, JDeveloper and uh, this GUI are actually synchronizing together. But when you sync this, it will go up to GitHub and update all of these, and they'll disappear from this little story section here and drop down to the history. At least that's how it's supposed to work. OK, here it is. And you can see that there's no longer any uncommitted changes. So at first, I was going back and forth. I'd make a change here because um, this was not working. Uh, Let's see, we have to commit first. Come on. Sometimes it works to just tap the, the key. This is just for testing, so I'm not going to put anything out there. And now if we refresh, you can see that they're unsynced. Um, and uh, so that's how you use the tool. Now, yesterday, actually, when I tried it, I realized that because I now had a SSH key here, and the SSH key was created out here, I could log on to JDeveloper and um, let's close this out. And um, I'm going to just close this out for a minute. It'll take a second for me to restart. OK, I've restarted, and there's no Git repositories down here, because what I want to do now is uh, clone a um, repository out here. Now let's go to my repositories here. And we'll do the gateways. OK, I'm just going to grab this. And up until the other day, I could uh, just put this in and And uh, let's put this in here. Can't do it. But now, since I have that private key, I can come out here and put this in. Now, I haven't done a fast passphrase yet. That would be the next step. And what's wrong here? Well, I still need this dot .git. OK, and now I'm in. And we're going to call it um, just because I have so many little test uh, versions out here in preparation for these videos. Now I am completely doing it from within JDeveloper, which I kind of like because I really just want to have it done through JDeveloper and not have to worry about anything else. Okay. And um, so we need to stage it first and then pen, do the pending changes. And now it'll go up. And I guess we're going to click. I like to click on the main application when I push just to get it right. And I guess we'll use this for that. Well, that was not successful. 
Maybe I just need to do the... Um, Yeah, this dot .git makes it possible with just the password and the login to push it out there. I don't know why it suddenly changed. Maybe I just had luck. But now it's out there, and you can see that this is fine. So that is the video. And um, it was an agonizing weekend trying to figure out what was going on because um, much of my work was now out on Git, and I wanted to have it there. Um, and keep it you keep using it because it's a great great um, website and I like having git instead of subversion subversion kind of kludgy I think okay I have that hope that was helpful have a good night